here's a school that's got Christ at the centre of its education. And really took to heart the verses from the scriptures that Christ is before all things and through him all things were created and in him all things hold together. And, and that was through whether it's physical education or English or maths or science, Christ was the centre of, of the curriculum. I started on the very first day in 1977 uh, and then finished in 1986. So I was, um, I guess, one of the first students in the composite classes and then the second year 12 class to graduate. My name is Simone Verhoeven and this is my husband Harry. And we started with the school association before there was any thought of where the school was actually going to be built. Uh, before the property was purchased, um, it, before we were even married, we were part of the association to get a school going. It's hard to put it in words, it's just expanded and expanded. I remember building many a wall with Len De Jong, uh, with my old tractor that I used to drive illegally on the road from Goodna to here, and building many retaining walls out of tyres black rubber tyres and all these walls and that's what we were doing in the early days. Uh, Len De Jong and myself probably had a working bee every fortnight with the two of us. Bert Van was a stodgy Dutch person which all our background could be like that um, but he was driven. He had his own hardware business at Dutton Park and he was just driven by Christian schools. And uh, so he would have been one of the, him and probably Jack Brunsma would have been one of the early pioneers that pushed it through, mm. and, and McGill's, because you would not go one church, one time to church on a Sunday without him saying, have you, have you joined the association yet? Have you joined the association yet? So um, my memories of turning up on the first day is out on Stewart Street, and I remember there was a lot of dirt from the earthworks that had occurred. The, um, the only area was the covered area that was the first of the blocks to be built. Uh, there, was a, there was certainly a, a buzz about it, like people turning up, walking in the school for the first time. I guess a lot of excited parents being a, a parent-controlled school. So I think that my memory of that very first day, the big granite rock out the front, I think they had uh, some, like an opening ceremony. I was only nine at the time, so the, the, uh, the recollection is, is getting fainter. But I can certainly remember the buzz and the feel of that energy of the first day, which was very exciting. We built the first little playground down at the bottom oval there, uh, that's supplied by Timbertown. Mm. They did, and that was now all poisonous wood, but it was the in thing. PFA did a lot of fundraising for that, so yeah. There was one time we all had to get in Dad's truck and head out to Stanthorpe to get apples for a fundraiser that they were doing. So they we got this whole big truck full of apples. They put it down the down the big front of the school, and people came with boxes and they sold boxes of apples as a fundraiser. So I remember that, and I would have been very young back then. Um, and I remember Mum doing lots of chocolate. We did chocolate drives all the time. So I guess at home, um, it wasn't uncommon for us to have a PNF meeting, and all the people would come and plan for the spring fair and whatever. So I didn't actually do anything, but I remember all of that happening. Yeah, I remember one of their big events was their Spring Fair and that was a massive event just on the oval up here and, and there, were, there were people who would just basically spend the whole year organising that Spring Fair. And then I would remember the, um, the days of the Spring Fair, dreading my dad coming and whatever he was going to do to embarrass me, what colour hat he was going to wear and how he was going to, you know, appear and show up in, in front of my friends. So I do remember that with a bit of, you know, anxiety. <laughs> I started the college as uh, actually a Grade 7 teacher being offered a one-year contract. And uh, I started here as a phys ed teacher, uh, but got Grade 7 and I taught Grade 7 for five years and then actually became Westside Christian College full-time primary school physical education teacher for five years. 
There are many Christian schools around the country and around the world. I think what makes uh, Westside Christian College unique is certainly uh, Christ being the centre and the pastoral care that students do receive, the genuine pastoral care that people receive, not just students but also staff receive when they, when they come to this college. In my first year at Westside, there were only nine year 12 students. We certainly didn't have anywhere near the facilities that we have today. And yet, those nine, uh, those first nine year 12 students achieved wonderful results. The OP system was not in operation back then, but if it had have been, two of those students would have received OP1s. The reason, the reason we chose this site was that we were outgrowing the existing campus. We simply could not hold or contain or house uh, all of the students who were coming. We needed extra space. This particular block of land, providentially, in God's good providence, came available for sale just when we were thinking about a second campus and we were able to secure it very promptly and then over a number of years to develop it. I think um, Westside gave me a really, really strong foundation for my Christian faith. Um, we had church, um, of course, as well as part of our family and growing up in a Christian home, but um, I guess seeing the Christian life in action each day is, is what shaped, you know, helped to shape that. My name is Jeanette Altoft and I've been a bus driver here since August 1984. So that's coming into my 33rd year. And I've loved it the whole time that I've been here. I love my job, I love the kids, I love what the school stands for, and I love to share the love of Jesus with all the children and the parents that we meet. Oh, the buses were old. <laughs> They were old and they were hard to drive. Hence the great excitement when they, we got brand new ones. I think the thing that sets Westside apart is it's the general culture of the place. And you know, when you have a school with teachers that have been there for 30 years, that are teaching you know, their ex-students' children, um, it says a lot you know, about any business to have long-standing staff like that. Um, and that culture, it's forwarded on, you know, there's so many teachers now that are past students. They come back for the culture, they come back because they know it works, they know it's successful, and um, I think that just continues through. It's a culture that is sustained from, from year to year, and, um, you know, the, the senior leadership obviously have a huge part to play in and keeping that going and setting that foundation. My name is Sarah and I started at Westside in 2006 in Grade 5 and I finished in 2013 at the end of Year 12. What stands out to me the most is definitely that teacher input. Um, how the college is not a college focused on academics and pushing students to be the best academically but pushing them to be the best person they can be just as a person um, and that definitely comes through the teachers and how they care so much for each student individually as opposed to them just being a number and the teachers just th being there to teach maths or science but they really do care about you as a person um, and put so much into your life to enable you to be the best person you can be in Christ's eyes and I really love that. They're a huge, huge part of what makes it what it is, what makes it great. Um, you can tell, as I say, the passion that they have for their kids. They're not just doing their job, clocking off and getting a paycheck, you know. They put their heart and soul into it and you can, you can see that. You can see that when you speak to them, when you speak to your children about what they've been learning and what they've been doing, it, it carries across, you know. You can tell that their teachers really care about them and, um, you know, they do. They make a, a massive impact on their lives, a positive impact. 
40 years, well I hope in 40 years Westside is still serving this uh, community. I, I guess my, my idea would be that it's still standing strong as a really, you know, a pillar of strength perhaps in um, a world that's constantly changing. A school that really stands out in the community as not only a place to send your children to get great academic results, but um, a place to form your children. But most of all, I pray that in 40 years time, this school will still be faithful to that gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the gospel of the Lord Jesus will stay at the heart and be the soul of this school. That's where I hope it'll be in 40 years time.